All computer operating systems have some sort of task manager, and Chrome OS is no exception. A task manager is a useful way to find out what programs, extensions and plugins are currently running on your computer. This is useful to anyone troubleshooting a problem, as it can help you identify an unwanted task, or a task that uses up too much system resources. If you use a Chromebook, you may already be familiar with accessing Task Manager, which is done by pressing Shift and Escape on the keyboard. This displays a simple GUI-based Task Manager that allows you to review and manually end process to tasks that might be misbehaving or using a lot of system resources. However, while Task Manager is perfectly adequate in most instances, it's nice to know that we can access a more detailed list of tasks that include low-level processes not shown in Task Manager. To do this, we need to open a Chrome shell, also referred to as Crosh. As you can see here, we're currently viewing the Chrome desktop. Using our keyboard, if we press and hold down the Ctrl and Alt key, then press T, you will find that a browser window will open called Chrome OS Developer Shell. With the crosh now open, you will be presented with a command prompt. If we type top and press enter on the keyboard, we're shown a much more detailed picture of what system resources are being used. We are also shown information that we cannot find elsewhere in Chrome OS. We can scroll through the list of tasks the system is using via the up and down cursor keys or via the home and end keys on the keyboard. If you don't have a home and end key on your keyboard, press Alt and cursor up or Alt and cursor down to quickly scroll through the list of tasks in the top. To help you get started with top, let's take a look at some of the more useful keyboard commands that you can use. If we press the L key on the keyboard, we can remove the uptime number of users and load average from the top's display. If we press the L key for a second time, we return the uptime, number of users and load average to the top's display. By pressing N on the keyboard and then typing in a number, we can define how many tasks the top displays. To reset the task number, simply press N, then type 0. When you press Enter on the keyboard, the tasks displayed in the top are returned to unlimited. If we press the Z key on the keyboard, the data in the top will change colour. Pressing Z for a second time reverts the colour back to its default. If we press the F key on the keyboard, we can customise the columns being displayed in the top. By using the cursor keys, we can highlight a heading option. Then by pressing space on the keyboard, we can select that option. If we press the end key on the keyboard, we can return to the top and our selected heading will be displayed on the right side of the table. If we press the C key on the keyboard, we can toggle the command column. This will show us additional information about a specific task. By pressing the H key on the keyboard, we can display the help file. This will give us information about commands that we can use with the top. However, as you can see from the list, there does not appear to be a command that allows you to end task via the top. We suspect that this might be by design, but if you know of a way to end a task via TOPS command prompt, please leave a comment. Finally, to close the top, simply press Q on the keyboard. This will display the CROSH command prompt. Now at the command prompt, type EXIT and press ENTER on the keyboard. This will return you back to the Chrome OS desktop.